Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to swipe your screen to move an actor and we're going to do up, down, left and right. Traditionally I've only showed left and right um, but a lot of people have asked how you can do up and down and it changes the way you do left and right so it's a whole different system and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. For the purpose of saving time I've already created my eight attributes that I need and I'm going to run through them. Um, they're all real attributes because we need the decimal points. So you're going to create touch X, touch Y, release X, release Y, up, down, left, right. So go ahead and go and create all those attributes right now, then come back and we'll finish the video. Okay, now that you have all these attributes created, go back to your actor window, and create a new actor. This is going to be our touch actor and I'm going to go into graphics and turn visible off and we're going to turn movable off. Now in this actor we're going to create a rule and we're going to say when touch is pressed we're going to change attribute game touch X to device mouse position X and then we'll do another change attribute and we're going to change game touch Y to device mouse position Y. I'm going to shrink that rule and we're going to create another one and we're going to say when touch is released change attribute game release X to device mouse position X and another change attribute and we're going to do game release Y to device mouse position Y now underneath this we're going to add some more stuff to the release and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do another change attribute and we're going to do it underneath, make sure you do it underneath we're going to change game dot up to game and we're going to do release y minus touch y okay and then we're going to do another change attribute and this time we're going to do down And we're going to do game touch y minus release y. And the reason why we've switched these two is because we want a positive number for going up and then a positive number for going down. Okay. Now we're going to do change attribute and we're going to do right and left now. So game right to and we're going to do game release X minus touch X then we'll do another change attribute game left to game touch X minus release X and again that'll give us a positive number and a positive number. Now that we have all that done we're going to hit back and go into our actor window and I'm just going to do a quick save here now I'm going to take this actor and I'm going to drag it under the scene and I'm going to copy it or, or sorry, drag it to the full area of the scene. Now we're going to go ahead and create our player. This is the actor that's going to move around as we swipe. I'm just going to put that on the scene here. Somewhere in the middle. And we're going to call that player. Now I'm going to go into this player. And we need to set up some rules to tell it what to do. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say create rule when mouse button is up 
And that works for touch too, so when touch is up, it's the same thing. Um, we're going to do a timer. And we're going to do after 0 0.03. Run to completion. And I just want to give it enough time for the other um, rules that we made to take effect and trigger before this takes effect. Now we're going to create a rule. And we're going to say if attribute game right is greater than 50 then what we're going to do is we're going to go change velocity and I want this to go right so I'm going to leave it at 0 relative to scene and I'm going to put a speed about 100 for now and I'll call this right and then we're going to go ahead and do left so I'm just going to shrink this here and I'm going to copy it down I'm going to change this to game dot left and I'm going to change the title to left and now we want it to go left so we're going to do 180 relative to scene and then I'm going to copy this down again and we'll do up game dot up and I'll choose 90 for this and one more we're gonna do down and then game down and that's right this will be 270 for down and now the last thing we need to do is we need to create a rule and we're gonna say when mouse button is down we're gonna reset all of those attributes so we're gonna go game dot up to zero game dot down to zero and I'm just copying these as I go game dot left to zero and then game dot right to zero I'll quickly hit save again so now you'll see when I hit preview the characters not going anywhere but if I swipe up it'll go up if I do left it goes left swipe down and one way isn't working let's hit refresh again okay so right isn't working so we just messed up right here so let's see when right is greater than 50 go right uh, and right here so I must have messed it up in the other actor I'll go over there quickly and check and right release X minus touch X um, that looks right let me see here um, let's switch this from Y hmm oh that's why um, it should be release so right is game release X minus touch X there we go so that should be good X's and Y's here we go so left down right up right down left up and that's how you get a swipe movement for your actor I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next game uh, gshelper.com uh, video and uh, have fun with this